Hi guys, it's Amanda with Infuse Insurance and today I'm hoping to inspire. I've come up with a list of five curb appeal ideas just for you. If you've been waiting all winter long to get outside to enjoy your home in your yard with your family and friends, then you may have gotten out there and realized needs a little love. Don't worry. There are some very simple fixes that will make a very dramatic difference for you and how much you enjoy the look of the outside. Number one is paint the front door. Have you ever invested a little bit of time into a room in your home and added a few coats of paint? If you have, then you already know how transforming it can really be. It's also extremely inexpensive. Just be sure that before you begin to paint your door, you do take proper steps to remove the hardware and cover any glass that's there that paint could get on. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but if you've ever spent hours and hours scraping off with a razor blade paint that you got on the glass, you will thank me later. Also, just be sure that you consider the paint color. You want it to complement the more permanent structures of the home, such as the siding or the roof and the foundation. And number two is add shutters. I bet you've spent some time considering what your curtains look like on the inside. You may have even messed with how high they are and wide they are and use different textures and colors and you probably change them out with every season or at least dust them off once in a while, I don't know. But have you ever considered what your windows look like from the outside? If not, you should. Shutters make a home look more put together. There are many vinyl shutter options that you can pick up pre-made, install, and they'll last for years. They'll withstand so many harsh weather conditions and they're almost maintenance free. Or if you're really handy, you can build them yourself. There are articles upon articles out there that with just a little bit of skill, I know you can pull off. Number three, add plants. If you have a green thumb, you might want to fast forward because I don't have any advice for you. As a matter of fact, if you have a green thumb and you have advice for me, leave it below because I need it. Because my little thumb is black, but that's okay. Over the years, I've developed some tricks to pull some things off. Number one, I buy hanging baskets from my grocery store. They are so inexpensive and beautiful. They've already been planted, they've already been fed, they've already been fertilized. All I have to do is keep those babies alive and it's pretty simple. I buy really cheap hanging brackets and hang them off my front porch. Just make sure that I keep them watered. The thing about hanging baskets is this. Because they're up off of the ground, there's airflow to the bottom of the basket, so they dry out a lot quicker. Also keep in mind, if you go on vacation, set up some type of watering system. Otherwise, when you get back, your plants might be dead, which happened to me this Memorial Day. Anyway, another easy thing to do is add boxed plants on either side of your newly painted front door. Number four, pressure washing. This isn't really adding anything, but taking it away. We're taking away mildew, we're taking away dirt and grime and all the yucky stuff that's been left there since the snow's melted away and your house hasn't gotten any love. Now, there are a few options. Number one, um, you can rent a pressure washing machine. There are lots of places that rent those. Or you can even buy a garden hose hookup that you can just attach to your regular water hose and turn it into a power washer. Just make sure that you remember, don't do it from heights. Never do it on a ladder. And if you do choose to hire an expert in, make sure that they're properly insured. Because if they're not, they can file a claim against your homeowner's insurance if there's an accident. Number five is the most important. Add lighting or upgrade it. So my favorite thing in the whole wide world is going to the Dollar Tree and buying a ton of solar lights. Now, you don't have to do any electrical wiring and they make a huge difference, especially at nighttime. 
If you want to go outside and enjoy your patio or walkway or even just your home when you're pulling up after the late night of the drive-in movies perhaps with your children, your home will be lit up and you didn't even have to do anything. You could spend like $10 and make a huge difference. Another thing that you can upgrade is your outside lighting fixture. I bet that you've probably spent a little bit of time upgrading the lighting inside your home. Well, the lighting outside your home is pretty important too, especially if you have certain styles that you like. This might be a place that you would want to hire an expert, an electrician. Please, if you don't know what you're doing with electricity, we always recommend that you hire a professional. There's a reason they get paid the big bucks and that's because there's a small chance of electrocution. I mean, I don't know, I, I don't know. Hey, listen, again, if they're not insured and something were to happen, you could be liable. So just make sure that you check with whatever contractor that you're using, that they're reputable and that they carry their own insurance. Okay, there you have it. Five things, super easy. Number one, paint that door. Number two, add some shutters. Number three, plant you some pretty plants. Get you some seeds. I don't know, whatever you wanna do. But the more plants you have, the prettier it is outside. Number four, wash that deck. Ugh, it looks horrible. Seriously, and probably your siding too. <laughs> and number five, upgrade that lighting. Whether you go big or go small, do one or do them all, I don't care. But the more you upgrade that lighting, even just a little, the bigger of a difference it'll make. I hope you found these tips helpful. 